No, this isn't a rumour, it isn't fake news, it isn't an article published by the Babylon Bee. The socialist government in Spain has passed a royal decree mandating that air conditioning at the height of summer can be no lower than 27 degrees Celsius. That's 80.6 Fahrenheit. Inside, in all public and commercial places. Maybe they can use all those Ukraine flags they bought as handheld cooling fans. Bars, shops, hotels, restaurants, cinemas, public transport, airports, you name it. Only hospitals and a few other venues are exempt. They're also mandated to keep all windows closed. And in winter, they can't have the AC above 19 degrees Celsius. That's 66 Fahrenheit. All in the name of reducing energy dependence on Russia by a meager 7%. And for any business thinking of flouting the law, they face onerous fines of up to 600,000 euros. Opposition party Vox asserts that the measure is unconstitutional. Others have pointed out that it directly violates labour, health and safety laws, which state that the temperature can be no higher than 25 degrees. But apparently none of that matters and the government is simply just going to impose it all anyway, having carried out virtually zero consultation with autonomous regions and local communities. Bars and restaurants already financially on their knees thanks to lockdown now face a further exodus of customers in peak season because of these insane regulations. Ominously, the rules are also being extended as a recommendation to Spanish households. A recommendation for how long? Hosepipe bans are already enforced by tattletale reporting systems and government fines. How long before the socialist government literally dictates at what temperature Spaniards are allowed to keep their homes? It's already happening in other European countries. Germany's largest residential landlord, which owns around 490,000 properties, is set to impose energy rationing that will cut heating to tenants at night. Hamburg's environment minister also warned Germans that hot water could be rationed and limits on maximum room temperatures introduced as a result of the energy crisis. And earlier this year, Italy announced it would start rationing energy to support Ukraine, with public buildings banned from running air conditioning at lower than 25 degrees or heating higher than 19 degrees. And if they can implement all this in the name of making a 7% energy dependence cut, just imagine what they're going to try and get away with in the future in the name of pursuing disastrous net zero policies and climate lockdowns under the justification of saving planet earth it's a control freak technocrats wet dream to get exclusive content early access behind the scenes stuff and to personally interact with me please sign up for my community at pauljosephwatson.locals.com. Link in description, and thank you for your generous support.